I've been with the Van Holyfield since 1988, on and off since 1988. Got back with him in 2004. And when he called me up, a lot of people told me I shouldn't take, take the job for the simple reason that Evander should quit, he should retire. But I told him, I said, come to the gym, let me put you through some workouts, and, and we'll see what happens. I'm still here. That means that Evander Holyfield can fight. And on June the 30th, you're definitely going to see a good show. Evander Holyfield don't put on boring shows. He put on great shows. And you, all you guys who have seen him over the years have to know that he's put on the most exciting heavyweight boxing shows in the world. And he's going to continue to do that. And the goal is not only to be five-time heavyweight champion of the world, but it's to be undisputed heavyweight champion of the world. And we're not going to stop. I weighed yesterday and I weighed 210 after training. And I, so I, it's obvious that I had to weigh by 217 because I, I lose seven pounds of workout and uh, then I put it back on, then I work out, then I like that. My, it, but I, I tend to fight at 215. I usually walk, at, walk around at 215, but every time I'm in Texas, it's so hot. Some power, I lose some pounds of workout. You know, as people may look at a young kid starting, when I started off, when I was eight years old, in my first match, when that man told me, he said, when I told him, yeah, I want to be the heavyweight champ of the world, he said, well, you don't fight Friday. <laughs> All I know, my heart dropped. Because now that it was testing time, do you really want to fight? I'm telling you, you know, as, as it is now, I'm, a, I'm an older person, I'm a wiser, but that fight there was just as big as I is the fight that's getting ready to happen to me, because it was it. And you know, I went in that fight, and my coach said, you see that kid there? I said, yes, sir. He said, when that bell ring, I want you to run up there as fast as you can and hit him in the nose. Well, I looked, and his coach told him to do that to me too. Now it's who gonna follow the direction. And that bell rung, I ran, and he ran the same way. As we got closer, he stopped and closed his eyes. I didn't. I hit him right in the nose. And you know what? When I hit him in the nose, he started crying. They stopped the fight, and my coach, a very brilliant man, looked at me and said, you took your first step of being the heavyweight champ of the world. The, the, the first thing with Evander is, you know, he come to camp in shape already. So I don't have to sit back and wait for him to get in condition. You know, that's, that's the most important thing. And that's what a lot of young fighters ought to, you know, get a hold to is that, you know, you don't go to training camp to get in shape. You come to training camp in shape and then you don't have to train for three months to get in shape for a fight. So, uh, I've been knowing Lucy Ivers for a long time. I've seen his last three fights in Houston. So, I mean, I was there at yeah, ringside looking, you know, just try to pick up a few things because, you know, even before they made the fight, I figured maybe one day that we'll have to fight Lou. You know, Lou is a, is a big guy, you know, strong guy. So, you know, but Ivan is quicker, you know. So that's what we have to do. We have to work on, you know, using his speed, using his agility to the best. And then, you know, I think, I think he'll knock Lou out. Though.